Hey everyone, welcome back to the Macrium Backup and Restore video. This is the part two. I was having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how I was going to record doing it to my own machine and decided that what I would do instead is hook it up to a virtual machine. And let me show you that virtual machine right there. Uh, I know it looks similar, but you can see that it is clearly a virtual machine by the little toolbars and stuff. So what I've already done is I've created two hard drives, one little tiny one that's running Windows and one bigger one that's got my backups. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things here just to show you. I can't boot to a USB through this, but I have made an ISO image of this software. And I'll show you that right here. So instead of making a USB, which I don't even have one plugged in, I made an ISO image. So that way I can boot. It'll look exactly the same. You'll see how to use it. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple changes. So we'll set this as a new wallpaper after the backup. So this is after backup. The backup doesn't know about this. And I'll go ahead and get rid of those. And you know what? Let's take it a step further. Let's go ahead and add... The Windows CD, that's fine. Let's go ahead and restart. That should boot us into the Windows CD. And what we're going to use the Windows CD for is to wipe out the C drive. It's gone, as if we have a brand spanking new drive to throw in there. Yep, there we go. We want to boot to that. And next, install now. And this is going to show you just how well these backups work. Not only did you see me get rid of those icons and change the background, but now we're going to completely wipe out the drive eventually, once I get to here. So, I don't want to mess with disk 1 because that's where my backups are. But disk 0, let's get rid of all of that. And check it out. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a new drive out of it. In a minute. Takes it a minute. Thank you. And let's go ahead and just format it for the fun of it. And done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hope close out of it. Yep. And I'm going to switch this over to the Macrium software and say, yes, I don't want to do that anymore. So now we should boot to the recovery software and we did this is exactly what you would see booting off a USB and notice how there's nothing here there's no drives there's nothing so now I want to browse for an image and I want to go to here why is it? Oh, well, who cares? No file select. There's my image. That's what it should look like. And I want to restore the image. So it says, all right, well, where's the hard drive that you want to restore it to? This is the hard drive I want to restore it to. See how it says 128 gig, but it doesn't look anything like my image above. 
The image above is my backup. This thing down below, well, that's the drive I messed up. So let's go ahead and just delete all the ex existing partitions. Next, finish. And yes, you, it, it, it's a warning that says, are you sure you want to do this? Because you're being crazy. And we're done. Now, it took two minutes, but it's a virtual drive. It had hardly anything on it. It had Windows. I don't even think I ran any Windows updates. Just enough drivers for the virtual machine. And I installed Macrium, Firefox, and Chrome. And those two desktop wallpapers. There really wasn't much on there. So, your drive more stuff longer it's going to take simple as that so we close out of all this close this we get rid of the optical drive now we should be booting to regular windows just the way we left it before i change the wallpaper there's my username And there it is. The icons are back. The wallpaper's back. I'll show you that the other picture is still right there. And we'll go in. There's the hard drive, just as we left it. All rescued from this. And you saw how simple it was. Just pretend that this D drive is an external hard drive doesn't have to be the letter D. It could be E, F, G, Z. Just has to be somewhere in the alphabet after C. Uh, and you can have differentials on there. Now, another neat thing. So, I've got the Macroom software installed. Obviously, you can see the little icon. Let's say, just for giggles, that... Oh, those pictures are gone. Permanently deleted. You see, they're not in the recycle bin. Not there. So I can go in here. Say you accidentally deleted something. I select C drive. And we'll make it drive letter O. Just to make sure it's out of reach. Say OK. Minimize that. Here we are. Users. Friday. Pictures, there they are. We'll go back into here. Pictures, look, they're not here, but they are in the backup. So, copy, paste, and now my files are returned to me. And you can see I got it from the O drive. The O drive is a temporary mounted section of the backup. So we can come in here and get all the files we need on the fly. So if you accidentally delete that video you're working on or the kids' pictures or some proposal and you know you saved it and you know the backup got it, you can come in here and grab it, put it back into your machine, and you're done. And once you're done with that, you can just right click, go to Macrium Reflect, and unmount, say yes, and it unmounts, but it's still here. This is why running backups is so important. Not only did I wipe the drive out, I changed the background wallpaper, I got rid of some icons, but I wiped the drive out. I made it completely unusable. It wouldn't have booted. But I booted to the software, I restored the backup, and everything is exactly back the way it was before. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to get for you. And it's free. So have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully this video has helped you. And until next time.
Goodbye.